Hey, it's the Bowery Boys. Hey. Tom and I were friends for a very, very long time, and a bit of a, with a little streak of showmanship in us, and I think we wanted to put together a show. I don't even think we totally understood what podcasting was. But we instead decided to do something on New York City culture. Um, but within our first couple episodes, which we sort of hastily did, um, based on like... Read, uh, no research. <laughs> well, there, no, there was research. It was just a quite... It was basically research that like I had done the previous night in like a book I had read. I think we had a lot of luck in sort of choosing it. However, we ended up with the subject of New York history. Um, I think that that's been very uh, fortuitous. Mm -hmm. My name is Alexis Guerreros. I'm Christian Polanco. Yeah, and we are the, uh, we're the Cooligans. The Cooligans, yeah. <laughs> that's fine, baby. We're all good. Agents, everything's fine. No, no, I'm, I'm just waiting for facts. Yeah, I'm just waiting for facts. Gotta get that facts to go through. We got both Scott season tickets to this team, and as we were talking, we realized we're joking about the team, and I'm like, wait a minute, this is exactly what I want to do on a podcast. So I said, hey, are you interested in doing like a channel, like videos and podcasts? And you were, you were down for it almost right away, and I was like, okay, I got a name. You're gonna yeah. hate it. And I said, cool again. And you're like, I don't hate it. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be perfect. I'm like, this, yeah. is, this is the perfect person to do it with. And, and he proposed right then. After. I would even say, well, first of all, we didn't even call ourselves the Bowery Boys then. No, I would even we say. New York cast. Ugh, New York cast really rolls off the tongue. So yeah, so yeah, I mean, pretty new. Yeah. And we both have had podcasts in the, in the past. Yeah. I got, I got into it. I don't know how you got into it. I got into it because I was looking uh, to sort of uh, supplement my stage time uh, with another way of getting uh, a chance to talk to bigger comics. Um, that's why I started Show Me Your Bits. I looked at it as a way to sort of talk about the writing process because I was having a lot of trouble in the writing process. So I figured, well, let me sort of envelope this whole thing or cover this whole thing under the umbrella of it being a podcast. There was some research, quite a bit. I mean, we got up to speed quickly on that. But then we would we'd record in my apartment and then we would Edit together, uh, together <laughs> on the spot with a bottle of wine. An hour. Just kind of like right. push through the editing, chop it up, whatever. The editing got easier as the evening went on, and then we would just upload the show, and like then look and you know at the stats on the server and see people downloading, and be like, isn't this incredible? <laughs> Was serial, and then, but to a lesser extent, this American Life had already been sort of like hurting up the industry a little bit. It was shaping it to look a little bit like, to look like other media. Serial was that was that one that, to me, was like, oh my God, there's gonna be an ending to this. Like, people are yeah. listening to it on purpose. And then they're like, which one are you on? Like, you know, how now we do with like Netflix and all that. So that, for me, changed how I thought of podcasts. And maybe it, maybe it validated the idea of having a podcast a little bit. Well, I think that um, it's helped catapult the the platform, the podcasting platform, to another level because it has been it proved so popular um, that there were like a million conversations between people explaining what podcasts were to yeah. to new listeners. It took that show for me to really even explain to like my dad how to listen to a podcast on his phone. But I kind of feel like an hour genre WTF maybe did more of that for us. You know, with Mark Maron yeah, that was on like TV a, show. That, that started the, the, almost like the format to some degree of like yeah. just talking to comedians and like getting really like in-depth interviews. Yeah. Like Mark Maron, for yeah. instance, it took him forever. I mean, now he talks about it on a show. I think Dan Carlin too. Yeah, like they make money now, but like he was doing it for years before yeah. he could, like he still had to go out, and I think he still does this anyway, goes out and he has his own TV show. And to this day, very few podcasts themselves make money that usually to make t to for a podcast to be a money-making device it has to be connected to two or three other projects I would say like I think there's gonna be like sort of an ebb and flow uh, of yeah. as we grow maybe we'll do more videos but like the, the podcast itself feels so much like home and, yeah, and does, so much absolutely. to what, like what, what we're familiar with yeah. what I would love is for a listener to listen to uh, us in some way and almost feel as connected. Yeah, that would be huge. To like to to a plot line of you know of in soccer. Uh, you know, I don't know exactly. Can we remain friends through this process? <laughs> I think is probably the closest we're gonna get. Hopefully, continues on for a very long time. I mean. You know, I think it'll even grow past us, which is what I think I'm hoping. If this is something that has a legacy that I could leave, 
I would be very, very proud of you myself. You gonna put it in your will? You yeah, <laughs> you know, the, the, no one gets the house, but you guys can keep watching cool again. <laughs> this is great. This has been a really fun episode. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun, guys. Uh, remember, while you're out there, keep the cooligans in mind. And don't be snitching. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.